What's up guys? Today I want to talk a little bit about a documentary called Wizard Mode, which I just saw on Amazon. Uh, you can watch it there. There are ads, but they're very short in number and they're very doable. Um, but this is a really great documentary, especially if you um, are a fan of pinball and you love watching documentaries because it was really well written and well uh, recorded. Um, and this documentary is about uh, a guy named Robert Gagno, uh, who I just found about today, but uh, he's a professional uh, pinball player, and um, he's attended a couple tournaments at Pinburg, and he's won, I think he was a 2016 champion, uh, he's He's been in fifth place, uh, fourth place a couple times. He's world ranked. But um, I just enjoyed the documentary a lot because it went beyond just pinball. Uh, uh, Robert Gagano um, has autism and kind of uh, talked about you know how pinball has kind of shaped his life and how he's been dealing with his autism and it was a great documentary because I can relate to it in the sense that, you know, uh, Robert Gagno, uh, he's, he's introverted in the sense that, you know, growing up, he really just played pinball. And until later is when he really started to begin to socialize um, um, because pinball sort of took him out of his comfort zones and kind of forced him to go beyond pinball and it just it's just an awesome doc and I just followed him on Twitter and he streams on YouTube sometimes but this guy's amazing um, you know wizard mode um, what I found interesting was uh, the way he got into the way he was introduced to pinball was from his father who took him to a burger joint um, in Vancouver that had a whirlwind pinball machine and if you're a follower of my channel or you'll know that uh, I recently did a review on a pin side story about another person who started his pinball his love for pinball and it started with whirlwind and it's amazing because uh, you know a couple days ago flupper just released um, a really nice version of whirlwind so everything kind of coincided together and made this documentary really wholesome for me and i know you guys will enjoy it it's i think an hour and 40 minutes long 45 minutes but it's really great and showing you about his life uh robert gagno's life and his travels throughout the world and everything that he's kind of experienced uh through the lens of pinball and i think you know a lot of people who may not be familiar with pinball uh, will even appreciate this because it's just amazing how pinball can kind of branch out you know your life i mean a lot of pinball is based um on other things you know there's pinball machines based on movies on themes aliens uh, pirates so it's like it's a very um you know pinball as a sport you know can be taken very seriously as uh you know it's a professional sport but it's also a sport that can be played for fun and i think um you know, I was as I was watching this documentary, I was able to see a lot of the pinball machines that I've uh, seen on, uh, you know, vir virtual pinball forums. And if it wasn't for the virtual pinball forums, I may have not known about the machines that I saw in this video. You know, I saw everything from uh, Theater of Magic. I saw Buck Rogers. I saw Mousing Around. I saw Metallica by Stern. And it just kind of went everywhere. I mean, there was even uh, shots of uh, Robert in the Stern uh, Pinball Factory. And, um, you know, there's a great story of Robert meeting um, a musician who fell in love with pinball. So, I think you'll enjoy this documentary. Just wanted to talk about it, let you know it's out there in case you didn't know. 
And thank you for watching this video. And I hope you go out there and watch it. Until next time. Also, let me know what you think about it. If you did watch it in the comments, I'd like to hear your opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.